All right, hello again, everybody. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the memory lapse, and we're jumping back into it on uh, the memory lapse election night special here with Blue White Control, our own homebrew. Off to an inauspicious start here. Uh, inauspicious means losses, two losses, but we did get a win. Our opponent has a nice pun for a name here, so I don't know if that bodes well for us or not. All right, on the play, we can keep this. We're assuming that they're gonna be some kind of aggressive deck. Let's get this meandering river into play. Take our time, lays about. Oh, wow, look at that. The misdirection is real. The delayed blue source in the Search for Escanta classic. Okay, so they're on fog. Which means we need to find a wind condition quickly because they have some inevitability here. Uh, hmm. I guess we only really care about Teferi, right? Letting them ramp is. It hurts. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, this deck is not built to play against the Nexus decks. But we didn't do too, that well against the creature decks, so... We also have <clears throat> a nice five blank cards in our hand for this matchup, so that's not very good. This might be a very quick one indeed, in which case we'll move on to like the green-white deck. Alright, let's go fishing for a land drop. We didn't find it. I guess we're just going to jam this, because if they don't have an answer to it, they probably can't beat it. They would need to have... yeah, I didn't think with just a single blue source that they could counter this. So, we're going to try to race them with Dawn of Hope. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this gives them an opening to get Safari down. If they do that, we'll probably just scoop and move on to the next game. Because we're just stuck. We're stuck on land. And uh, we have a one card. A six card, one card hand. Yeah, let's just scoop and move on. We're not going to beat this. <clears throat> I think once we revitalized to try to draw the land there, we had to just play the card because we don't have a two-mana counter spell, and they're probably going to try to jam it anyways. Uh, I'll come back to that for sure, but I want to show this deck, I guess, next. So, another metagame special, though this one actually has game against other control... Not other control decks, but against control decks in general. Built similarly to the green-black deck that we got seven wins with, uh, minus the explore creatures... But we have a bit of interaction. We're actually playing some settles and we're ramping into things like Peacekeeper, which should be like a layup win against red decks. Um, Shalai, Karn, Vivian Reed, Tristani, Carnage Tyrant, and March. And 22 land. I've actually had, I haven't played this one in a constructed event yet, but I have played it like just to complete quests and it's done very well, just on its own. So let's take it into the gauntlet and see if this has any merit. Obviously the card I'm least sure of is the Peacekeeper. Alright, yeah, we can keep this. But the idea, of course, is that the life gain will really matter against those red decks. Sometimes you find you're stabilizing and you just don't have it. Like have the life total to cushion yourself. If they block here, this is actually fine for us. 
They must have a very slow, mopey hand. Or they're just not interested in growing their... Hmm. Alright, so we have like a lot of answers to Galta, luckily. But we'll steal this one away. We have Tristani next turn, which is good. Tristani will help us start powering out some marches. We should be more or less set from that point. And they're mono green, it looks like, so they're not really going to be equipped to answer a wide board. Cost six to pump this, so we more or less get a free block here. All right, Vivian Reed. Classy lady. Oh, wow. I mean, I might be inclined to plus here. Getting this Merfolk back doesn't do that much. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to hold and we're going to make the biggest march we can. And then untap and make the biggest march we can again. So the biggest march we can make here is five. <clears throat> and play this. And we can march for Seven, eight, nine, ten. March for ten, and that should be game unless they really flood the board this turn. Like really flood the board. Flood the board a phenomenal amount. Yeah, March of the Multitudes is still a card. Uh, oh, no, they don't stack. Uh, so seven, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. And they need to block way too many here. Yeah. Four throws through. Cool. Well, we beat a Galta. We didn't have to remove it. We just went around it. Big dinosaur, small arms. Can still only block one thing at a time. All right, let's go on to the next one. Hmm. All right, here we go. No major updates to report uh, the day after. Oh, we'll keep this. Just pay the two life now. We're going to get it back with Peacekeeper next turn. 
We'll have Peacekeeper into Tristani, and then hopefully we'll top deck some good stuff. There we go. Everyone get some life. Feels good. Spread the love. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Peacekeeper blocks that nicely. Ooh. We got Shalai in the house. Uh, I guess we don't want to trade our Peacekeeper because it's going to get bigger next turn. <clears throat> this is the nice part about these Elves is that they turn on the Shalai ability faster too. But this turn... We're just keeping on with the getting wide here. Well, the theory behind this deck is similar to the green-black, where we just want to be ramping and <clears throat> playing the best things possible to us, but it's very possible that the options in green-white are just better than the options in green-black, if, if your idea is that you're ramping to, to 3, 4, and 5 quickly. Um, hmm. I guess we'll hold Shalai back. We have a pump ability with her here. Our board is going to get bigger than theirs very quickly, so we just have to... It's going to get taller very quickly. Well, a Johnny kind of helps them maintain a little bit of parity, but we can just uh, eat this next turn. Okay. I can't imagine they're going to find very good attacks here. Oh, they're attacking with just a minimum. Uh, if we block here... If we block like this, we can gain six. Which mostly undoes this attack. Seal it away. <clears throat> Alright, well, we just want to keep growing our team, but let's take this Johnny out. We just get to make a new Benelish Marshal every turn. This is fine. Alright, I scoop. Yeah. They're dead in like two and a half turns to the Shalai. Cool. All right. Easy 2 0. Let's keep going. All right, <clears throat> this is a fine hand. We have Peacemaker, Peacemaker, Karn. Like this is this is sick. If we draw one land, we're gold. Please accept my offering, opponent. Ooh, green white. Uh, hmm. In this, in this case, I think I want to play the Elf. Because I want to try to ramp to the Karn here. Especially if they tap out for something here. Or they don't play a second blue source. Or they play the second blue source. Uh... Peacemaker. Peace be with you. I don't want to lose one of these to a seal away, because if we draw land, we have Carnage Time next turn. 
And we have the classic where if they enter the Carnage Tyrant, then we just get to play Karn. Oh, we didn't find it. Alright. Let's just go for Tristani and see if it gets countered. Oh, good. We'll deal three to him. Oh, wow. We haven't even posted this video yet. Okay. So I guess we just Karn. Karn looks good here. Hopefully they give us land. That's going to enable Carnage Tyrant. Oh, we didn't even get a land. They'll give us Settle the Wreckage because it's a dead card. There's a chance that we're getting Wrath next turn, so I might as well just attack. Yep, called shot. Gotta think they're gonna give us land here. Well, they gave us Vivian. That's fine, we'll just grab land next turn. Oh, this might be close because we bricked on land for a few turns. How best to do this? I think we're okay with them countering this stuff. I mean, we, we are in a good spot here. We have the Karn. We have the unconditional draw engine. Oh, we have the Karn. Well, flip search is pretty good for them. Hmm. All right, well, this makes our turn a lot easier. Get the boy Carnage Tyrant down. Yeah, have it, have your Sinister Sabotage. Take action. Druid. Shall I? This will get countered, I have to assume. All right, so now we're setting ourselves up to do a March turn here. <clears throat> so we can respond to this. Oh, no, we're going to wait till their end of turn. Especially if they try to tap out for Teferi or something here. Uh, Alright, let's do it here, because we don't want to get countered. Now they have to decide about wrathing us on their turn. Or it's taking some damage here.
Either way, delaying them from playing a Teferi or something like that is good for us. Looks like they don't have Nova. Get in with these tokens. One, two, three, four. Let's go for a tribunal on their Dawn of Hope. They might want to counter this, and if they do, then we get to just play Vivian. Okay. Well, actually, now we do get to just play Vivian, huh? Spent four mana on that. Uh, yeah, we'll take Dristani. Dristani lets us rebuild if they find a Wrath. We don't really need another land at this point. Plus up, let's go. Carnage Tyrant would be sick here. Let's take another Tristani. Jam this out, let it get countered, that's okay. Oh, it doesn't even get countered. Attack with these. If they settle us, we're really not that upset because we have so much going on right now we can rebuild very easily as long as binding does not help them looks like they're taking 12 here maybe they'll throw this token away all right they'll eat one token And they're giving us an opportunity now to second main phase play Karn. And I th believe this is the one they know about. Alright, yeah. Well, we kind of dismantled the very deck that we tried to build to metagame. Uh, like, didn't really feel close, huh? Claim prize. Alright, 3-0. Very nice, very easy. And uh, that's where we're going to call it for this one on the Memory Lapse Election Night Special. It's not even seven yet. Polls are still open in many, many states, even on the East Coast, or they're only just, just about to close on the East Coast. And uh, we are excited to see what the results are. And we are excited for you all to continue enjoying this content. And if you are enjoying it, this is the awkward transition. Please remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. My preference is subscription, comment, like. Uh, trying to grow those subs. Would love to turn this into a Watsy sponsored channel. And I think I need to still grow to hit that threshold. Um, and I love it when you guys comment and we get a little back and forth going about the decks, card choices, sideboarding where I misplayed, all that good stuff. So that's it for this one. We will be back again shortly. Maybe we'll even post like four videos tomorrow for election, ele day after election day, the election day hangover. And it will be a hangover because if you can tell by the intonation of my voice, we're having some pretty big IPAs tonight as we await these results. But it's not impeding our, us too badly here. We're 3-0 and we will be back soon. Thank you again. Later.